Want to see the most recent leaked images of the supposed Galaxy Note 7? We've got them. Now these are some seriously poor quality images that were leaked, but we've done our best to tweak them to give you the best peek into the supposed Galaxy Note 7. Now these were leaked earlier this week with another batch of no less than six images that appeared on a Chinese microblogging site, Weibo. Now this is the black onyx version of the Note 7, and we're seeing it from every angle, although it does look like it's been shot with a 1.2 megapixel camera. So from all the leaks that we've gotten over the past several weeks, it does look like the phone is shaping up to be as expected. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. The Note 7 will be officially launching this August 2nd. Looking forward to it. Now, unless you've been living under a rock for a while, you must know that the world has gone stupid insane with a new mobile game called Pokemon Go. But we're gonna talk about maps that help you find more rare and prized Pokemon in the game. And first up is Poke Crew. And for all you fellow Canucks out there, you know what we're thinking. Poke all right, are you ready? Now this is a site that isolates your current location and shows you a list of Pokemon near your region. Documented catches are charted and you can keep track of how far and away they were. Each Pokemon is assigned a quote, chance of sighting rating, and the database keeps up with what times of day every species appears to be present. Go Catch 'em All is clearly the strongest Pokemon map in this list. Pokemon sightings are cataloged with accuracy and sorted into categories of common, uncommon, rares, ultra rares, and epics. A wide array of sorting options are available to you, and the map updates to suit your preferences with tiny icons of the Pokemon you're looking for. What could possibly be the downside? Well, as it stands, Go Catch Em All is only available in the Boston area. However, we hope that it will expand in the future, but as it stands, only residents of Massachusetts can make the most of this powerful Poka Tracker. Now let's talk Poka Mapper. And yes, I'm pronouncing it Poka Mapper and not Poke Mapper because Poka Mapper is just fun. And it isn't as robust as Go Catch Em All, but it still offers some pretty decent tracking. Sorting options are fairly limited, however, and users will note that in rural areas, there is a lack of coverage. In fact, even larger towns have pretty scant data with this app. However, it is a worldwide map. So in spite of lacking filtering capabilities with the other two maps, it may be the truly only worldwide option. Now, how many of you are still Sony Xperia fans like me? Well, images supplied to GSM Arena by a tipster reveal what could be the successor to the current Xperia flagship, the Xperia X Performance. It looks like Sony is finally exploring new directions when it comes to product design. The device in the images, purported to be the Sony Xperia F8331, features flat sides on the top and bottom with rounded sides. The 2.5D glass on the front flows into the curved design of the phone, and overall, the industrial design is reminiscent of a flattened tube look of a certain Nokia Lumia phone, if you remember that. Like the Xperia Z performance, the phone in the images features front-facing speakers. Many of you are gonna love that. And the bottom of the device reveals a USB Type-C port. The Xperia F8331 could be Sony's first phone to use the new standard, which is becoming increasingly popular with Android manufacturers. Unlike Motorola though, Sony isn't ditching its 3.5 millimeter jack and seeing the device is relatively thick, that would be hard to justify. 